Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on part 20 to 0 of Tabby's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. We are in the 20s. What do they say? Time flies when you're having fun. If you remember from my last video, which was a bit messy, I'm not going to lie. We have done a bit more exploring around the blighted village. We have gone through into a couple of the underground cellars. Currently, we are in the alchemy one here. Now, last time I managed to go in, trigger the trap that was inside. This time... As always, we're going to be a bit more strategic about things and we're going to send dear old Astarian in first. So as always, let's jump straight into things and get going. Like I said, now last time with Tavi, kind of got a bit trigger happy. I got very, very excited trying to go in here. Traps, how considerate. Okay, so he has picked up on some of the traps, not all of them. Have stayed interesting. I'm going to Can't get Tavi. Be wary. This place is trapped. Good, so she's picked up another one. Well, hello. now he can see it too. Now, isn't that strange how oh no, he can. He can see that. There is another one down here. But yeah, he failed on that, so he can't see it. So I have loaded back here. So obviously that is just from before where we saved things. So I'm going to disarm this guy first. And you know what? First, actually, um, yeah, you Despite just stand everything. out here while he does this, just in case if it does go wrong and it kind of kicks it in. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get <laughs> no. going. Tabby, no. <laughs> You're trying oh, your best, but no, nah, leave, leave the expert Trust to no us. One. Now, let's see. And add now. Oh. Right. One Shouldn't thing with guidance I actually time. should say is to put guidance on. What generally has to happen if you're actually playing... Dungeons and Dragons is to actually put guidance well. onto a different player, you actually have to be able to touch them. So I think that's just she was too far away to actually put guidance on him. So that's Keep why he had no close. option. So now we can disarm and he has guidance too. Oh, a very respectable 28. So that should be that guy done. Let's save that. I want to just this. I probably could have just disarmed this first. And that is a lovely dirty 20. So we will bring him Last back out. Time. Still alive. And so that's progress. Right, we're out of short rest. So after this, actually, we probably will go back in short rest. Or long rest, I should say. But let's pick this up first. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out. Where anyone could stumble across it. And clearly Astarian is looking for it for some reason. I'm sure we will find out. We are. I'm going to tuck it into the backpack again. 
and she is encumbered, but let's just move out. We haven't triggered anything. So that is what we want. Now let's see, I'm going to sort by, oh, up here. I'm going to sort by weight again. She has, yeah, look, there's, oh, the cauldron is only 10 though. I actually thought that may be heavier. Add to where, oh no, I should be sending that to camp actually is what I meant to do. Yeah, I'm surprised that cauldron is actually the heaviest thing. I mean, the arm kind of heavy. Send that to camp. Those were from the ship. Send to camp. Send all of these back. I think we've kind of seen everything that we're going to see down here for the moment. This is... Well, I think what they're trying to lead us up to being is when I do want to do, say, alchemy... What path lies before me? I have here to actually do the alchemy instead. So I think that is what they're trying to line this up to be. But look, it's not the worst thing. We won't argue with it anyway. Yeah, I think. Have we What's looked inside? at all this? Actually, maybe I haven't. Oh, no. We've definitely been here already. Not really seeing too many books now. I do think, and you can correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I think Tay could be to do with the red wizards. And I can't remember exactly because when I'm trying to multitask and actually talk and, and record and I do forget nearly everything I've come across in this place. But I think we've already come across Tay already. We've already started coming across what they've done. So this was obviously a necromancer's lair or follower for Hey. So we'll go back out again. A good place to have though if we need anything. And yeah, I think we will actually now go back and I suppose really we may just long rest now and then come back here and continue on. Actually, let's toggle group mode, see if they'll come up and follow me. They look like they're moving. I'm sure if I go back to camp, they will follow anyway. There has been something that has been annoying me though, that I'm going to go back to that Emerald Enclave or Emerald Grove and I'm going to deal with something there after we long rest. And there might be a little bit of F5ing involved in it, but I just want to see if I'm right about something. So let's go to bed first, to see if anyone wants to talk to me. Or if anything of interest happens during the night, let's hope. There is no more trying to kill each other. But everyone, no one seems to really want to have much to say to me, so. Oh, we may be starting to, I wonder if I actually have enough. Right, I have enough, but I may have been camping too much. We'll find out. There's not a lot left. Looks peaceful for the moment. Everyone seems happy enough. And very good. That's the sound we like to hear. Hello, my friend. Seems like a good moment to talk. The dog wags his oh, tail. Oh no, every a time. Small bag clenched between his teeth. Oh. Um. Oh, I do. Animal handling. Yeah, let's try the animal handling. I always forget to put on the speak with animals first thing in the morning. Oh, we should just make it. Sounds like gold. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Oh, pet him. Thank you. I don't know what the, the bone is, but we won't argue. Thank you so much. Scratch so his tongue good. lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Ah, he's so happy. <laughs> Now, oh, so it actually is a bone, is it? <laughs> let's have a look. Um, yet again, let's sort by latest. Bone. Hmm. Can I inspect it or examine? Yeah, it doesn't really say much else, but I think he may have actually found those potions of healing too. Oh, and that it is not too late. <laughs> 
that evil. <laughs> that evil bug. One thing in the background when I'm not recording to kind of semi practice, I play the game myself, but I do not play it past where Tavi has actually played it. So I have a bit more time to maybe look at things when I'm not trying to play and talk at the same time. But I had to laugh that if you right click here or let me see. Yeah, if you click here, it will show you all the ones you can wear. But I was reading Astarians and look at it. Embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you manage to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. <laughs> I think that is genius. And if pants could brood, Shadow Hearts, uh, Tabby's, poor Tabby's has no description. And Will's, long may the gird the blade of the frontiers. Oh, may, long may these gird the blade of frontiers. There you go, you can have a look through all their clothes and what's written on it. Maybe it's actually given a little bit of a hint as to what's gone on as well. A once fine shirt that's seen years of cuts, tears, and careful repairs. Repairs. Clearly, someone cares about looking good. We know who that is. Uh, that's on Tavi, actually. I think at the moment. Vagabond. Oh, that's not on any of them. Dear Shadows Hearts. A little bar of standard issued cloister soap is tucked into this outfit. It smells like time and religious fever. And Will's, in his good humoured performity, Will cannot resist a puff of perfume on these clothes. Possibly Eau de Frontiers. <laughs> so there's just such cool little things hidden in and around the place if you're ever looking yourself. Now, are these meant to be like cockroaches or something just running around here? A bit weird. Uh, speak with animals. Let's pop that onto Tavi. Just so we have it for the day. Very good. And yeah, I think we're going to go back out and we're going to keep adventuring. So let's leave the camp. Or maybe, actually, I did say I was going back to the Emerald Grove. Now bear with me on this one. But this has been wrecking my brain. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I don't think it's going to end well with what I do, but if I don't do it now, I'm never going to know. <laughs> more What's next? Oh, is there more? I haven't heard. I mean, obviously I've heard her say that, but maybe they just mean in general. Of course, now let's have a nice little F5 before I do anything. Because I definitely, I know it's not going to go well, but I just, you know what, it's all about trying things just to see what will happen. Oh look, more of those totems around there are very interesting. Just going to move, move everyone over here. Yet again, not expecting this to work at all. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Temporarily hostile. Right, if you were playing actual Dungeons and Dragons, say Dungeons and Dragons 5e, and you put Moonbeam down on a shapeshifter, it will break the shapeshift that they are currently in so if they're shapeshifting they will go back to whatever their actual form is so i was hoping by maybe just popping a little moonbeam down we could figure out the strange ox but as you can see he's not giving up his secrets that easily now i do have to laugh at the kind of what do you call it like polygon thing maybe not oh and I didn't put this down. Did they put some poison or something down? Oh, look at them all defending. Yeah. Look, we tried. I'm going to just reload it. Because there's no point in actually starting a full out war with them when I don't really want to. 
So that's that one answered anyway. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on how we're going to figure out that strange ox. I'm sure there'll be some sort of, uh, what would you call it? There'll be some quest or something to do with it anyway. So no harm. We gave it a shot. Moonbeam does not break shapeshifting in Baldur's Gate. But that's one less thing I have to concern myself with. Need to find a way forward. Yes, we do. Feel like we're being watched. Now, who said that? I don't know if that was Tavi or Shadowheart, I'll be honest. They all look calm enough up there, so I don't think there's much going on up that way, I'll be honest. Now, is that like a climbing? That is. I don't think I was up that way. Can I get up there? Oh, and I think what happens is, you know, when you go too far away, it stops you. Oh, hey, she can jump it. It will stop you being able to, you know, keep moving them on, I think, until you go back to close where they are. Yeah, I really don't think we were up this way now. I don't recognize any of this. No harm yet again before we go back and deal with all the rest of them. I want to kind of have a look around. Just in case there's anything we've missed. So someone was here. Skeleton. Oh, guidance. We will absolutely keep that for Gail. Necklace has a harper sigil. <gasps> Why were they here? The Harpers. Don't think we have met the Harpers in this game yet. They, they're like an organization in Dungeons and Dragons. For those who, well, obviously, if you play the game, you've probably heard of them. But for people who have maybe seen the film, the main guy, which I can't remember his name, I'm I'm just, worth a look. yes. I'm terrible with names, but the main fella was a part of the Harpers before his wife was killed by uh, the Red Wizards, I believe, as well. So actually, yes, that that Tain, I think, is the name on the book. <laughs> Literally, I've just seen it and I'm nearly forgetting it. But the name that they, he was in that film as well because I may have rewatched it for maybe the 15th time the other day. <laughs> um, no exaggeration, I'm just slightly obsessed with that film. But I do actually believe... Me everywhere. Oh! Didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, we'll move out of there fairly quick. But I do believe that the fella from Tay is actually mentioned in it and it's to do with... The Red Wizard. Seems simple enough. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Oh yeah, let's, let's attune ourselves to the spider's natural rhythm. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt a spider egg is nestled within. Let me see. Slight a hand. Oh, speak softly to them. Open to calm them. And we will absolutely add a guidance. Your voice draws their attention. They are suspicious, then curious, and finally at peace. One by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. Uh, yeah, let's boldly reach for it. <laughs> you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Hmm. Ah, oh, we got some inspiration. Very good. Quite happy with that. And we received the pouch as well. Ah, oh, so... It's open. Also, oh, the spider's egg. Ooh, something. 
I will take the gold. Actually, can I? I'll just take them all. Was there two? Oh, that must be from something else. All right, let's go back. If I examine, I was going to see. I don't know. Maybe it's going to hatch into a spider or something. I don't know. Maybe it's to use in battle. We will keep it anyway. Who knows? We might get a pet spider out of it. Not that I like them, but if we get one, we get one. It's a nice little bit of an overview of the area as well. I did not go down that way. Does it lead? I actually, I didn't go over near any of this either. We just went over this bridge here. That was where the cultists were. There's the Owlbear Cave. And of course the Blighted Village is then over there. So while we are over this way anyway, it actually might be no harm if we have a look down around there. And see what I missed. But yes, very interested to find out why the Harpers were up here. And why was there a skeleton? Did they kill someone? You would wonder, or did they just happen to be there? Doesn't look like I can go down this way. Also, yeah, we have a couple of things we can pick up. I'm very bad for maybe kind of scavenging and picking things up. My pack. I hope so without... Oh, yes, a new recipe. That is another thing I will eventually have to start actually trying to do is learning how to do the alchemy i actually don't know what else there is i'm sure there's many there's like that blacksmithing as well or improving your weapons can we jump down let's jump my dear thank you and keep going now up this way oh backpack we'll take all that and a pouch there's a lot of things around this way. There's actually a lot of things you would miss without that old, actually, isn't there? I would just have run past all of them, not a problem. I mean, I did. Fallen tree. Is that just to sit on, maybe? That you can click on it? Or can I do something with it? No. <laughs> it's just to sit down. The rest of them don't seem like they want to. It's like maybe you could see something from being sat there, but it doesn't look like it. Seems we can cross the stream over that way. So we'll go, we'll cross back over here again. They're all empty. We have already sorted that out. Rogues. Oh yeah, see what I mean? Look, there's... Are they all in there? No, they're here. Rogue's morsel. That's just a mushroom by the looks of it. Dead tiefling. Silver, yeah, gold and silver. We missed all of that. I'm not going to lie. It would be very handy if... There was a way you could just always have that on. Now, why is Will back this way? I think we better go back. I think he's actually stuck or something. And now it's not letting me go too much further back. Because Tavi isn't there. What are you? Could you not jump down? Is this my friend? There you go. Big jump. Up Ever you go. Onward. Join everyone. I've got a long road ahead. I'm hoping now, yeah, they should all through. join back up now again together. So, Traveler's Chest, I did think Some I had gone hope. through them. Maybe I didn't. I didn't. Oral Histories of Faeron, the Spell Plague. This book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 25. Cornelius and Tomlius 
Wordy Wart. Halflings encountered on the Golden Road south of Innerlet. I met the brothers, or rather, they found me, in the lower pass through the Fire Shear Mountains. They had encountered a trail of golden discs along the path, and had resolved to gather and return them to whatever fool had more coin than common sense. It was to our mutual embarrassment then that I removed my cloak to reveal my patchwork yellow hide. It was molting season, I explained, and a traveller on the road had not the luxury to shed their scales in private, as would be proper. I suspect they knew too little of Dragonborn to be appropriately disgusted and instead invited me to sup with them. Over a roadside fire, I learned of the purpose behind their journey. Cornelius, Lorian, my lad, our ancestral home, it was lost during the spell plague. Tomelius, weren't nothing lost, Con, it's not Nan's lucky nasher, is it? It sank. See, wasn't I there when the blue fire took it? Sure, what do you remember? You were knee high to a gnome. T, I remember you crying. Maybe it was you that sank the place, going back to finish the job. See, watch that lip, lest I fatten it. Only a fool speaks ill of his homeland. Their brows were bristling dangerously, and so I diverted hostilities by speaking of my own people's ancestral home, the blighted world of Abir, and the thousand-year tyranny of dragons we lived under, until the blue fire of the spell plague brought us to this world. C. Right. Ah. T. Another potato? So we'll take that with us. No harm. I like keeping the books in case we want to keep reading. Two spoons and a knife. And that's a very shiny ladle. But yeah, no, I don't think we really want or need anything else there, I'll be honest. Check this one. Oh, some gold. But yeah, sorry, I don't know. I can't remember if I finished saying it. I do kind of wish you could have had this alt on all the time instead of having to click it as you're running around i won't lie maybe it's something they might bring in the future that they will give the option that you can just have it on continuously oh she took a little bit of damage there with that yeah i don't think i was around here no i definitely wasn't around here anyway Yeah, very bush. See if you can get anything. Camp supplies. We might... Can we cross over here? I might have to jump it by the looks of things. No, it's not going to let me. I'd actually have to go back underneath there and go up and along. Uh, so what we might just do for the moment... I'll keep going down this way, I think. Maybe we'll all lead us to whatever this swampy looking place is. Now, I actually was here. Oh, is that that one? Oh. That's the one that was in the house, wasn't it? Don't necessarily want to go attacking just yet, but no harm that we save first. Uh, but I'm pretty... Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? No. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Never a dull moment. I do think she said that she lived on the outskirts of town, so I'm assuming we're on the way there. She went to see you. We know she did. For the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Marina. Stop this. We won't ask again. I do think she's a hag. 
I said this when I met her the first time. There's something not right with her. I also don't know if you noticed. She is actually covered in blood as well. Here's, right, decisions. Um, two ways about going about this. So I can get them to, I have a feeling, right. She's not going to tell them honestly that she's seen this girl. She's probably going to turn into a battle. We may never find her. Whereas if I leave her, oh, it's hard to know. They might attack her. But I might be able to find the sister. Oh, it's so hard to know. Um. Yeah, but right, I need to now think about Tabby's side of things. Tabby knows she's lying. Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defence, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has bring her. Okay, guess we're gonna go kill the hag. <laughs> it's our sister, Marina. She's... Well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back and fast. Yeah, like that. I know I'm saying she's a hag, but in Dungeons and Dragons, they'd actually be quite strong. And what you really wouldn't want is for it to turn into be like a banshee or something like that. Even though, I don't know, if banshees or... Yeah, they're kind of... Actually, maybe I'm thinking like a banshee is a very Irish folklore thing. I don't know if they have banshees in Dungeons and Dragons. I may be getting the two, but say in Irish folklore, a banshee is, say, usually an older woman or can be quite beautiful either or, but you're meant to hear a banshee scream when someone is going to die. But I think it may affect, or they say, it may affect certain families, like I think any families that start with an O, maybe O'Donnell's, O'Connell's, um, they'd be likely to hear a banshee scream. I may be confusing in my own head hags and banshees. I know there's like liches in Dungeons and Dragons. I don't necessarily know. I think just hags are a banshee. So they can be quite difficult to actually fight. They're quite strong. They're basically a witch. So let me, I'll bring, yeah, I will help them. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel. Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now come on. Oh, well, he's going to die and I'm not going to be too sad when he dies. Yet again, though, if I'm thinking about this logically and from... Hmm, I'll take that. A Dungeons and Dragons role-playing kind of thing. Does it make sense that this person who has just met me doesn't trust that I will help his sister? Yeah, I can I can get that. But we will try to save her anyway. Because, let's face it, I'm going to have to deal with that hag at some stage. And she's possibly going to put up a good bit of a fight. Is that like meat and just... Okay, that's just so... Such random things around the place. But that's obviously all for the camp. Now we're saving. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. All right. Um. Let's see. Investigation. Oh, minus one. Right. We're going straight up for druid. And add that. You know, still the druid isn't actually much better. Oh, yeah, we're failing that. Failure. Oh, look, we may as well use an inspiration because I have enough of them. Let's go. It's 
so close one away right let's go one more time and we're gonna leave it then after that nope that's fine Yeah, we're just going to leave that there and not going to keep rolling now at this stage. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay, clearly we are being watched. From where, who knows. But like that, Tavi rolled quite badly. Even after our inspiration, sadly. So that is exactly what would happen if that was in a game and you rolled that badly. The DM would say, you notice nothing. No. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Where is this trap then? Oh. It's just like, oh, spike trap. I'd say we're getting in close to Careful. <laughs> uh, the old hag's place, I would guess. I need a quick word. Yeah, come back. I want to talk to you. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Uh, tell me about this place, sheep. Oh, drop your eyes. Yeah. May as well. But yeah, maybe I picked the wrong one the last time. I thought I had picked the druid one, but... Maybe I did and I just didn't have enough anyway. Oh my god, my rolls are so bad! Ah, oh, continue. Wheezing. Sheep backs away. That's okay. What if I talk to you again? I wonder, that's hardly and Etel now, is it? Oh, another sheep running down there. That one's going very far away. Oh, we're actually not even near it. We're just in these wetlands. Clearly, though, I would imagine we're coming up close to someone's house or something. Hard bush. I think everything is a shapeshifter in here now. Sleight of hand successful. Okay, we won't argue. Now, there's another sheep over there. Maybe this one might talk to me. Tell me what's going on. The brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. <gasps> Are they dead? Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. Oh they my goodness. Careful. They weren't even gone that long. Tabby isn't even trying to talk to them at this stage. <laughs> oh, the sheep. The sheep do not like me. Oh, these Anything poor brothers. Use? We're definitely coming in on her place, I'd say. Oh, we found a wayward place. Up there. Oh, no, there. Tattered letter. Let's have a look. Let's read. Dear Joel and Dermir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor and to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to ma'am. All right. She has enough on her plate. Marianne. Oh. I will try to help you. They did try, but they wouldn't listen to me and let me do it. I bet you it's not the hag, though. I bet you it's whatever is following me at present. I'm just trying to go around. I know it's kind of maybe some longer ways, but it's just... How would I say? It's more so just so I'm kind of getting the the dark area oh is that a frog or a rabbit uh, let's have a chat will we bring these shallow water bring these shallow water okay that's a bit weird 
Um, what are you? You live here, it's beautiful. Um, I'm looking, yeah. A chill runs up your spine. There is something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. That's a bit weird. Uh, let's try Careful. Druid. Uh, she's after poisoning someone and turning them into a frog. Oh. Careful. I don't want to kill you, frog. I don't want to. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> why is its defense is so high? <laughs> That's madness. I, frog, I don't want to hurt you. What do I do with this then? So reflective mucus. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh my, well, the mirror image is gone. Uh, this is actually bizarre. I'm not going to lie. And turn. Frog! Oh my! God! <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! This is. Uh, this is not good. We are fucked. Oh my god, what did I just do? What did you just do? What did you just do? What did I just do? No. Can't even catch oh. my breath. Wait, why, why, why? Wait, Moonbeam again? That's a level two. I mean, heroism, oh, Thunder Wave, Entangle, Ice Knife? Oh, it's defense is up high again. Oh, this is not good. I think this frog is going to actually level us. I'm not going to light. I legit think I'm going to have to use another moonbeam. Because at least when it starts its turn there. Oh my god. This is... Can't concentrate. Get, get out. Get Can't out. Get on. out of there. Um... Five high defense. Oh, this is. Can I charm it? No, it must be a humanoid. Animal friendship. Oh. I don't know if this is good or bad. I'm going to end this right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, is it dead? <gasps> oh, that was... Welcome, rest. That was bizarre. Get out, get out, get out. Light on my feet. Get out. Okay, so... And And, well... Oh, wait, I have to get rid of my moonbeam. Don't, do not go into the moonbeam. No traps, please. Oh my god, so she definitely has turned people from animals into... Don't touch me. Whatever the hell that just was. What's next, I wonder? Oh my goodness. Oh, he looks so rough. I'm so sorry. Oh, you only got four. That's not great. No one back home will ever be I'm going this. to F5 this. I feel kind of sorry though for that frog. I know it didn't want to actually, well, I don't think it wanted to attack us. Another I am going to guess Shah's blessings upon you. No. Goodbye. I'm going to guess that everything in this place has been poisoned Open up. by Aunt Ethel. Like any of the animals here, they're going to be like people that she's given potions to. Oh wow, that frog, that, that done some damage now, not gonna lie. Don't think there's really anything else around here. Oh, that is that her place then? Maybe not 
do I actually? Uh, I'd say we're coming up close to it. I don't necessarily know if this is it though, I'll be honest. Uh, do we I'll knock? Give it a shot. Oh, there's... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so she is in there. Potion of greater healing. Letter from M. Right, we're going to F5 this again now. I know it's quite early in the day. Off we go, then. But I don't trust what's going to happen. And I'm f 5 again. Now, let's all group if hide. Everyone else minds their business. Oh, oh sure, mind dear, she mind. is. Oh, there's your one. Hmm. Right, you know what? We're gonna unhide. No one stopped me yet. This is going to be a disaster. Let's path. do it. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Hmm. Oh, get oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Yeah, some bad news. That doesn't. Did you treat? Um, yeah, you said you had something from the parasite. I think not. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Well, you hurt the lady. We don't want things to get messy. What is it? What's going on? I'm telling her. Now I don't know if um she did kill them. That can't be true. Let's say it anyway. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You the deal is off. Enough. Away with you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Very interesting. She'd actually kind of charmed and changed everything. Yeah, eyes of the wild. Now, I still don't... Oh, level five. Mm. Oh, there's... Who's he? Who's he? <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> oh, it's all the sheep. Oh, this is... Oh. Well, we're level four. I actually don't think this is going to go too well, I'll be honest with you. All right, we're going to have to start taking out some of them out here, I think. Let's shift. Oh, he can still hide. Good man. Right, you're going to hide. They won't know what bit them. Oh no, I picked the wrong hide. 
No. Oh well. No, look, we're just going to have to. Unless, can I move him back? Maybe I can. Can I jump him so that he might stay out of there? If they move forward, they just might not notice. Oh no! Oh. This is. Oh, this is going to be tough now. This is. We'll take these guys out first, I think. That is our best thing at the moment. Gonna save that hex for her. For a dull moment. Now, I know it's, this is pretty silly. She was stood there. She's probably moved since. Oh, nice. Nice. Take that. I know it's another moonbeam again, but... Come on. Yeah. I, I really don't think this is gonna go too well, I'll be honest. Let's finish this. So let's do, as we always do, and I'm just gonna fly through this. 65. They're all, yeah, they're all the same. I'm gonna go with this instead. Oh, saved on Sacred Flame. Do we have extra? I'm gonna put that onto Tavi. They're definitely going to, or she's going to go for Tavi first, I know that. Did he save her? I don't know if they've actually seen him yet. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly tough battle now. Bloodlust. Oh. Now, can you still? Must have advantage. Okay. I mean, yeah, no, there's no chance of that. That was my own mistake for picking the wrong one, sadly, the first time. 60%. Let's give it a go. Nine. We don't... I'm not going to vampire by just yet. Going to disengage. And just run a small bit back in that turn. Good. Break illusion. Oh. Hmm. We'll still have to save her. Not as bad. I was actually thinking that was going to be a really tough battle. If honestly, it was all of them. So that actually, it's not that it's like great or anything, but it's a bit better than what I thought it was actually going to be. Vicious Mockery, Bone Chill. Too close. Horn Whip. Vicious Mockery. Yeah, no harm. Oh, he saved it. Okay, end that turn. Oh, okay. Moonbeam is going to be moved to hopefully hit the two of these. Very good, okay. We're going to heal him. Because he needs us. Yeah. Do I wild shape? No, you know what? Because I want to be able to move that moonbeam. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, seven. They are hitting hard. Very, very hard. Gonna guide and bolt on him. I want Asterion next time to do a good bit of damage on him. Oh, he knocked Asterion prone. Open. Oh, he saved. Very good. Necrotic prevents. I so I think that's the one that actually, when he does it, it hits everything in the one place. So do I want to? I'd be worried about it hitting him. Sixty percent guiding bolt. Forty nine threatened. 
kind of do want to deal with this lad. Do we put Hex down first? He's already in there. These definitely look... Oh, if I can get... Oh no, it can I think they have to make a wisdom save throw in the... Moonbeam. That'll just make life hopefully a bit harder for him. And I know it's at a disadvantage. Yeah. I'm gonna end that turn. But now hopefully because... Oh, missed! And shame I cannot push. Which I would have liked to have done. Oh my god. Goodness. It always looks like an elephant to me, that downed. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, we don't want this guy doing too much damage now, I'm going to be honest. We're going to move the moonbeam just so it's directly on top of him. And if I heal, that should hopefully bring him up, get him back up again. We really don't want to do much else. Oh, okay. I did think. I thought. Oh, can only be cast outside of combat. Right. Mirror illusion increases your armor by three. That's quite good for her, actually. It's a shame about that guide and bolt. Resistance guidance. I mean, do I put it? Don't want to waste it on actually don't want to waste it on any of these if they're that bad she might be able to move though no he's going to get he's going to get an opportunity attack against her whatever way she goes i don't want her stepping into the moonbeam either so you know what we're just going to have to take a 20 percent chance Oh, very good. Very good. And shield face onto him. Yeah. I still think they're going to kill us, though, sadly. Sixty percent. Let's try it. Five. Yeah. I think, yeah, for now. I mean, can I... Maybe I can hide. Cunning hide. Let's cunning That's hide. Oh, no. <laughs> Battle favors the fears. Yeah, he's gonna get an opportunity attack there. Oh, yeah, he can't do anything anyway. It doesn't even look like he could use... He doesn't have a potion. Let's give him a potion just in case he can use the potions. I don't think he will be able to do. But no harm. Just in case he can. Because I would like to try to obviously... Ah, yeah. I would like to try to beat these guys if we can. Ah. Oh. oh, down again. Oh. I really would have thought with all his movement through that moonbeam, he would have taken a lot more damage, I'll be honest. Yes, again, we're very happy with our moonbeam. If I move it, will it hit him? Uh, maybe he's actually still... I think he's actually still in the moonbeam. Maybe? Or maybe not. Go on, we'll get you back up. He's going to get an opportunity attack. Ready. Really, even that there. His next round, he should start in that. She'll get an opportunity attack. Threatened. Yeah, sad. Oh. Four. It's something. Is it amazing? No. Is it something, though? Absolutely. We'll have no healing spells left. What's the name of the game? 
Yeah, he's been trying to hit him with that open wound for a while. Now, do I ice knife him? Is that dope? Right, I want to save. Because I want to use that on the other guy when he makes his way up here. Because it will hopefully... It might, it might make the difference of just giving us a bit of time to save ourselves. Oh, there we go. Another one down. Hold person? I can deal with hold person. That's okay. Am I going to be able to hit the two of you? Hopefully. Yeah, I hit the two of them one so now we are down to one i think old person i don't know if i can actually do anything else to help him do i want to heal him no you know i don't think we're gonna need to heal now we might actually do okay with the rest of this tavi is okay no we're fine we're gonna end that there guide and bolt on him 80 percent may as well 14. Nice. Oh, he had concentr- Oh, hold person. Very good. Shift. If we go over here. Cunning hide. Yeah, see me. Very good. F5 dot. <laughs> Woo. No time to rest. Okay, before we go to herself, What's the hag. I mean, these are just her... What would you call them? Like her bodyguards kind of thing. If this is what they were like. She's going to be a difficult one. So. What I would like to do. Oh. Are all the potions. Oh yeah. Oh no. The potion is still up there. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Oh my god, drink from it, leave. No, we are not drinking from it. Uh, before we deal with her, yeah. I feel like I just long rested, which I did, but quite a lot has just happened. So, before we go after her, we are absolutely going to go back for a long rest. Tea house. Yeah, F5, I'm going back. We are long resting. She is not going to be fun to deal with. And we literally have like no spells left now. There's like a big jump I find. I was doing... Oh, maybe we don't have enough to long rest just yet for end of day. Oh, no. I don't know why I thought there used to be bedrolls out there. Everyone seems to be okay. I'm trying not to give Gail... The items until I need to, until he's basically asking for them. <sighs> Evenings are fairly uneventful now at the moment. We won't argue with that. Um, We haven't had any visit from the Guardian in a while. Don't know if that's good or bad. At the same time... I've maybe gone a bit overboard in some ways with my actual long resting. Um, the fights are getting that small bit harder. Now we're gone up a bit, so as you can see, we are lasting a lot longer than we did before. They are just they're getting that bit harder, so really just don't mind giving them the long rest when I can to regain the spell so we're in top shape. But for this episode, this is where we're going to leave things. So, next episode, I'm going for that hag. We're going to scout through the rest of our house, pick up what we can. The fact they're giving greater potions and stuff like that tells you quite a lot. They're envisioning it's going to be a hard enough battle for us when we go in there. So, we'll go collect everything. Then we're going straight for her. But I think she's going to be a bit of a toughie. If you like this video, please do give it a like. And if you would like to see future videos by me, 
maybe give it a subscribe as well. As always, I'm going to have a playlist here at the very end of the rest of Tavi's journey. All the other episodes, 1 to 20. If you would like to go back to the start and just see how she has grown in that time. As always though, I thank you so, so, so much for stopping by and spending this time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.